everyone, this is Peter here. I hope you're all having an amazing day. In this video, I'm gonna focus on one particular tool in Luminar Neo that I have fallen in love with. This tool is called the Portrait Boca AI. It's such a cool function because it allows you to change the depth of focus to blur the background, for example, with shots where it was impossible either because the background wasn't far enough from your subject or the lens aperture wasn't wide enough or the focal length wasn't sufficient enough to create proper decent separation of your subject from the background. By the way, if you wanna try out Lumina Neo for free, you can do that. They have a seven day free trial period and I will also leave links in the description which I will be updating on a regular basis so you can get the best value and the best discount during promotional periods if you decide to purchase. Also, don't forget to use my coupon code PeterVirekPhoto to get an extra 10% off. All the information will be, as I said before, in the description. Anyway, let's hop into Luminar Neo and I will show you what this Portrait Boca AI is all about. So here we are in Luminar Neo and I'm gonna start with this self-portrait that I took for a thumbnail. You can see that I have already done a little bit of uh, editing for this image. I used the Relight tool added a lot, enhanced a couple of features and did a bit of frequency separation and such but we're gonna focus on the portrait bokeh function now so we gotta scroll down once we hit the tools up here and then scroll down all the way to the portrait section and then click on portrait bokeh and with the first slider you can adjust the amount of background blur that you want to apply to your image as you can see when we push it all the way to 100 it does a pretty good job of separating uh, us from the background but I want to adjust a little bit here on the left side it's still pretty much in focus we can go to the background and then go to depth correction and if you push it all the way down to minus 100% then it moves everything out of focus except us it does a magnificent job of separating the subject we can do a bit of edges correction if we move it down to zero it looks a little bit more natural let's zoom back out this is the default um, 20 percent or 20 points on the edges correction if we move it all the way up to 100 we are a little bit too well defined and creates unnatural looking uh, edges that becomes clearly visible especially on my head around the hairs so let's move that back to the default I think the default 20 looks really good. You can also adjust the brightness of the background. Let's move it all the way up to 100%. And you can also create highlights glow. Let's push it all the way to 100%. That's a little bit too much. I say we'll leave it around 40. That looks nice. You can also adjust the color temperature and uh, move it towards the uh, warmer range or down to the cooler tones. I think plus 33 looks really nice. If you want to bring certain sections of your image back into focus, then you can always use the brush and then hit the focus uh, button here and then you can adjust the size, the softness and the strength of your brush. Let's move the softness and the strength down to 50, around 50% and then we can bring back this section into focus. So if we move it all the way to 100% and the strength as well, then it should be completely back in focus, just like with the original image. Let's just get it back to where we want it. That's it. So virtually in a matter of minutes or less than a minute with the use of one slider, you can do an amazing job. Just remember that if you wanna remove all the blur from the background, then you have to use the depth correction and uh, push it all the way down to minus 100, which applies it to the entire frame. All right, let's go to our next image. And uh, I'm just gonna show you what I've done here. Let's go back to the edits. And then here you can see once again, all the edits that I have done. Let's discard the edits and then we can have a look at the original shot. This was the original shot. I had already applied a lot to this specific image in Photoshop. And these are all the edits that we have done in Luminar Neo. This was the image before. And once we applied the portrait bokeh, you can see that the background is completely blurred out and the separation is 
much better. The only difference between this shot and my initial shot is that the edges correction was pushed all the way down to zero. It worked much better in this instance and uh, it looks much more uh, natural. I think it did a fantastic job with this uh, image as well. And let's go to our very last portrait now, which is of my cousin. I had already cropped this image. Go back to the edit panel and discard the edits. As you can see, there's too much clutter in the background of all the walls and the, the fans and such. Let's just delete this though, because I wanted to show you what I had to do with this particular image in order to get this final shot. So reset tool and then let's just delete. Go back to the tools, down to the portrait broker. And again, let's push it all the way to 100%. As you can see, the um, subject selection works fairly well, with the exception of a tiny part down at the bottom where her shoe is. But the selection of the horse, which was essentially in the same focal plane, is looking completely or 90% blurred out, which we want to fix manually. So first things first, let's just zoom in a little bit and move down to her shoe and then make sure that you are on the focus. Change the size of the brush. Leave the softness and the strength at 100% and just brush in her shoe a little bit right there. So it should come up red, that's fine. And then defocus where you don't want it to be applied. There are a couple of imperfections, but overall I think it looks really good. Back down a little bit. That looks fairly good to me. And then move all the way up to the horse. And we want to be able to focus on the horse. Let's change the size of the brush to larger and just start brushing in. We're going to zoom in a little bit more just to make sure that it looks good. It took me about five to six minutes to bring back the horse and its rain into focus and didn't want you to be bored to death, so I sped up this part. As you can see, the AI does a pretty good job of selecting the human subject, but in this image we had to manually brush in the horse and the rain so it took a little bit more time, but it was still fairly easy. I could have done a much better job, obviously, and take my time a little bit more and be more precise and more refined. But I think the end result looks much better than the original image with all that clutter in the background. So once again, if you have images where you weren't able to separate your subject from the background properly, this tool is going to help you heaps and I can highly recommend it. It's going to take you only a few minutes to create something really, really amazing. As you can see, the difference between the before and after shots are just tremendous. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and overview. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Luminar Neo, then feel free to check out this playlist. I will be creating more tutorials down the track, so keep an eye out for those as well if you're interested. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks again and catch you all very soon in the next one.